Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and uh, today we are looking at something really, really weird in Spin Tires Mudrunner. This truck is basically a normal truck, but it drives like a snake. And what do I mean when it drives like a snake? Well, it literally slithers, and if you look at the the steering angle it's capable of, you can kind of figure out why. I mean, it's just weird. It's wacky. It's absolutely wacky. And we're going to go ahead and enable the garage with the dev tools so I can show you guys what's actually here. Now, you can put a normal assortment of things on this truck. However, I don't think I... <laughs> I don't know if I would want to. It's so freaking weird. Like... You gotta see how it drives first. You gotta see how it drives. It's such a weird thing to drive that just thinking about driving it with a trailer or with, like, some sort of load behind it is so weird to me. Like, so weird to me that, honestly, like, here, watch. It, like, it's like it's drifting, but it's not drifting. It turns on a dime, basically on a dime, and once it gets going... That steering, like, the phase of the steering doesn't change. So, effectively, you have all that weird, crazy, opposite phase steering angle, no matter how fast you're going. Which lends itself to some really weird stuff happening. And I do mean really, really weird stuff. Like, this thing... This thing messes with you. It messes with your head. It messes with your perception of how it should drive. Um, what it does do really well is slink over things, as can be obviously seen. It slinks over things like, again, like a snake. It's basically a snake truck, a snake truck. And, uh, yeah, it just does all this weird stuff. Now, I'm going to put a trailer on it because I feel like I would be doing a... I, like, I would not be giving you guys the full picture if I did not stick a trailer on the back of this thing because I feel like that's just part of the fun of experimenting with a weird, crazy truck like this. The only thing is that I kind of wish, well, <laughs> the crazy person in me wishes this truck was faster. The sensible person in me says, you do not want to drive this thing any faster than it will go already, but the other person in me is like, nah. It needs 10 gears and 3,000 horsepower for no reason at all other than it would be fun. But, we're going to go ahead and throw a trailer on it, or at least attempt to. Trailer hitch. And let's try and put this guy on it. Oh my god. Alright. So... <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so driving this thing with a trailer is weird. Weird because... It's like, you have all the traction in the world whenever you might want it, so getting the trailer up over things is never an issue. The downside is that it handles completely differently than anything you could ever imagine, and not necessarily in a very good way. I mean, the maneuverability is awesome. Don't get me wrong, the maneuverability is awesome. The grip is, ah, the grip is awesome. The downsides are the fact that, like, if you are not 100% on top of it, like, 100% of the time, it'll be like, yeah, I'm kind of just attracted to that tree over there. And it just, meh, it just goes. And it's just like, oh, well, I didn't exactly expect that. And it's like, I know, but I'm going to put you over there anyway. So with that being said, it's a very weird thing to drive. And then once you actually start driving it, you realize how freaking weird it is. But it's not that it doesn't have a place. It definitely does have a place, I think. And when I say it has a place, it has a place in demonstrating how track-like vehicles... I mean, keep in mind, this is not a tracked vehicle, but it has track-like characteristics. And track-like characteristics are definitely something that's good to experiment with, and I think it's something that modders should be experimenting with, because tracked vehicles are one of the coolest things... Oh, no! Alright, so we're back, and as you can imagine, the game crashed, which does occasionally happen on this map, but it actually gives us an opportunity to switch up the setup on this thing, and by doing that, what I think we're probably going to do is not the log carrier, definitely not, because that's just kind of silly, but trailer hitch, mm, trying to find something different or crazy, but there's not like necessarily that much stuff, but we'll run this garage trailer. Because I have more experiments I want to do with this thing. 
And those experiments, some of them involve a trailer, some of them don't. But if we have the trailer with us now, it will be, like, we'll have it rather than having to, like, go back and spawn it in again later. Even though we have the dev tools, it's, like, it's already nice to kind of, it's just nice to already have it. So, with keeping that in mind, let's go straight. Because I've never actually really been, like, fully straight ahead before on this map. Like, there's a lot of maps that, you know, a lot of maps where you don't even, sometimes, like, if you don't really bother to see certain areas of the map, you never end up seeing them. So, I feel like, why do that with this one? Oh, you know what? Yes, it's the perfect challenge. Perfect challenge. Alright, we're in high. Let's see what all that grip and traction actually does for this truck. And so far, it does a lot. It, oh! Wow, I thought it was going to bog down and stall out, but it, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> I was correct. It just took a little bit longer for it to do it than I thought it would. Oh, it can't quite manage the grip it needs. It can't quite manage it. It, like, it wants to. It's right there, and I know that it can. It just can't quite manage that grip level. And to be honest, man, like, the actual, the actual grip, like, potential of this thing is so high that all you'd have to do is find the right line, and you'd be golden. You'd be totally good to go. So weird, though, to watch. So, so weird to watch. Come on, one more run at it in low range. Let's go. I think it can do it, especially from all the momentum we had before. We're just going to need to find a different angle and attack it again from the right side. Because, like, if you attack it from the right side, it does fine. If you try to go at it straight ahead, like, from the left, it doesn't want to do it. Which is weird, but, like, this game is funny about, like, which line you take. It's very, very specific, and it makes such a difference depending on where you go. Like, it makes such a difference what line you use to attack one of these hills. So far, it's not really... Eh, we might be pulling winch cable, I think, on this one. I know it can do it, because we were right there. We were right there, and I know it can do it. But what I also know is that I don't want to spend, like, 30 minutes trying to get up that one hill. So it's like, yes, I know it can do it, but I'm going to go ahead and pull the winch. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and pull it again, I guess. I guess I'm gonna release it from that one. Let's go. Come on! There we go! I will say, it's much more capable than like a normal one would be. It's a lot more capable than a normal one. And you know, that's of course not saying, whoa boy! That's of course not saying much, but like, when I say that it's better than a normal one, I mean it's better than a normal one in pretty much, like, every way. Now, to be fair, it basically has tracks, but you have to kind of, you know, you have to kind of think of, like, what you're comparing it to as well. Because the stock trucks are not necessarily monsters. See, see what I mean about how it always has a contact patch with the ground? So you never really have to think about, like, where your traction is, unless you're dealing with some really, really, really rough stuff. Let's take a left here and see how this goes. Again, turning on a freaking dime, dude. Turning on a dime. Wherever you are, like, whatever you freaking want. There it goes! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Put your power down, put your power down. There you go! Yes! Yes, it uses all that grip to just grip up and go. I mean, and again, is it realistic? No, not really. But is it a realistic venture into exploring what track physics like track physics would be like yeah yeah i think it is and i think it's a worthwhile exploration into track fi track physics as well because there's a point behind it right there's a point behind doing it it's not just like someone threw a bunch of wheels at a truck which is admittedly what it looks like but there's more work in it than that there's definitely more work in it than that and i think it's not something that it's not something that people can look at and just go oh yeah that, that's see like that's really like just silly easy when like they don't really know how to make mods themselves now do i make mods no do i know what the process was to make this thing no but what i do know is that it looks like there has been some effort put in to at least see what the tracked physics would possibly be like later on in the future so i will say that it's definitely a worthwhile look at something that's that's interesting to look at but I, I think also, too, like, I'm impressed by it. Like, coming down these trails with a freaking trailer, it does a, it does a damn good job at what it does. So we're going to actually detach the trailer real quick and take off. And see if we can climb that pile of, uh, 
Or not even a pile, but like stack of lumber over there. But like, look, it, it's like the weird handling. It's so freaking weird. All right. Are you going to... No. Obviously not. It's like, are you going to climb this? I doubt it. I oh, well, I mean... Well, uh, we did it. It did it. And I'm impressed by that. I'm very impressed by that. I'm also going to refill it because why not? But yeah, I'm very impressed that it did what it just did. Like, just walked up on top of those stacks of lumber. Because that's not like these. Like, these, easy. Like, I'm not even going to bother because I know that it would get up it just fine. But that back there, I mean, a lot of vehicles can't do that. And this just kind of was like, yeah, there you go. No big deal, bro. So... Big, big props to this thing's creator. Like, I mean, it's such a... It's so weird, but it's a study in, in weird vehicles. So, of course, it's going to be weird. And, like, it's a it's more of a study in development than anything else, like, in my opinion. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be people that are going to look at this thing and go, Oh, that's pointless. Or, oh, why would you do that? But, like, there's going to be people that look at everything and say that. So, you can't really judge it based on that, I think. And plus, if you want, like, realistic mods, there's plenty of realistic mods out there. It's like, why would you go after a mod like this when there's plenty of realistic mods to play with anyway? Curious to see if it bogs down in high if you take it through the mud. Which it does bog down to a certain extent, but it's got a lot more grip than you would think it does. Or than you would think it was going to, especially with the tires it's running. That's very, very surprising. You get it back out on land, and man, like, throw it at a steep hill freaking like snake truck slinks its way all the way up it just goes man and the front bumper overhang doesn't really matter as much with where those wheels are in the front like the extra wheels in the front it doesn't really matter you can really throw this thing at whatever terrain you please and it'll just eat it it'll just eat it up and not complain just seriously not complain about it where are we heading next because now we're really in the middle of nowhere and I don't know where I am so, I'm literally just kind of driving by the seat of my pants and kind of, uh, kind of figuring out where I am as the terrain comes to me. But the thing is, this truck can take that. It can take that kind of thing. And, and to be honest, like, I would almost be willing to call this thing an exploration vehicle. Like a scouting and exploration vehicle. Now, I do feel like, oh yeah, that was way too deep for it. Way too deep. But, but... I will say that this truck as a whole is a really, really interesting truck that everybody I think should at least play around with and kind of give it a look because the physics are very weird and very different, but they, they, they actually really work. So if you enjoyed this mod spotlight, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.